Hi there, welcome to LearnClickView.com. In this tutorial, we'll go over basics of set analysis in ClickView. <coughs> ClickView aggregates data based on selections, uh, and that's basically how it works. But there are instances when you want to render uh, a data set based on certain specific requirements or filters. Uh, and and uh, set analysis is a powerful way to perform that. Uh, one example that that uh, comes to mind is um, a year over year or quarter over quarter comparison uh, of, of sales figures. So, um, in, in a nutshell, set analysis kind of deviates from the uh, the, the current selection and um, allow you to construct a powerful um, expression uh, that can have filters within that. To, to render a data set that's completely different than uh, what you selected. So uh, let, let's dive into it. Um, in the article, I have gone over the, the basics. Um, and uh, what I'll do here is to show you some examples, uh, just for the beginners mainly, to, to get your feet wet and underst to understand <coughs> how set analysis works. Um, I'm, I have an example here uh, with, with um, uh, a company uh, having a sales by a salesman by different years. So uh, we will use this example to, to demonstrate how we can use that analysis to create different data sets. So let's dive into it. Um, I am going to go on the script. And um, again, you know, like I said, it's a, the very basic data model. It has orders, uh, salesperson, and a calendar. Okay, so right now it's showing sales for uh, 2005 through 8. Uh, let's say you have a requirement that you just want to show your 2005 and 6 um, all the time. Uh, and, and that's. Uh, a very um, basic example of how you can use uh, set analysis. So, as I've uh, described in the article, um, set analysis syntax starts with uh, curly brackets. So, uh, what you do is throw in two brackets, left and right. And, and uh, the, the first part of the set analysis is the identifier. And identifier kind of defines the state of the set. Uh, so normally it's dollar which is default or one which is the entire data set within the application. So dollar is implicit but it's a good practice to have it. And uh, now <clears throat> we are gonna, going to add modifier which will allow us to, to um, introduce this where clause within this set so essentially uh, we will filter this data set for year 2005 uh, five and 6. So I'm going to put year and uh, again equal and the syntax uh, for this requires again a curly bracket um, to, to filter the, the years. So it's 2006 Curly black completes, um, and as you see, uh, this angle brackets um, are for the modifier. So modifier starts with the left angle bracket, ends with the right. Within that, we have year. So this is similar to if you do select um, sum of total due where year equal 2005 and six in your select statement. Um, so that's it right there. That should um, create a data set containing just year 2005 and 6 you see. So this is how you can, you can create this very basic example of set analysis. Uh, what I've done, I'm going to put this back, but to, to show you more examples, I have created a bookmark. Um, and bookmark's another um, identifier you can use. 
uh, within your set analysis. Again, I've described that in the article uh, fairly clearly, so I'm not going to uh, elaborate on that, but uh, I have a bookmark called year 2005 and 6, and essentially what it is is just year selections um, containing both years. So using this, uh, we're going to we're going to show you how you can use this bookmark um, to to create uh, exactly what what I just showed you um, uh, using the uh, the year modifier. So let's clear this out. Go back in 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 the expression. Uh, I'm going to start again with um, curly bracket. I'm sorry. <clears throat> And all I need here is just the identifier. I don't need modifier at this point since since the bookmark contains the the modifier uh, essentially. So I'm going to put here 2005 and six, and that's it. So my set starts with the curly bracket ends with it and all I have is just the identifier here uh, if I say this okay and as you see essentially I achieve, achieved the same results that 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 I did uh, in the initial example so so that's one now let's go back again and um, as I've shown here, this is this is the uh, the identifier right now, and that contains year 2005 and 2006. So uh, we talked about identifier and modifiers, and now I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about the the operators. The operators are, like, are kind of like a method in object uh, programming, such as Java. Um, truly in click queue set analysis operators are the ones that are executing uh, the uh, uh, the, the content within the modifier and identifier and, and creating the result sets for you so uh, let's say we wanted to create a um, set that contains the current selection plus the bookmark so now not only year 2005 and 6 but if I select another year it, it's going to be added to the set so apply this um, so right now um, I have all the all the years since nothing's been selected but as I select a year for example 2007 as you see now 5 6 are part of the bookmark seven is what I selected so my result sets 2005 six and seven uh, if I select eight it'll show eight if I deselect um, and select just eight it'll show five six and eight so that shows that I can I can create um, a, a data set containing Two different, two different sets, and that's what the uh, the operators do. Uh, operators allow two two sets to interact with each other. So that's one. Um, then we can also look at. Sorry. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> I have uh, created a variable. So let's look at that, and. Um, essentially, essentially, to see this year has the uh, the, the fill selection year. So as I select year from the calendar, that that value will be assigned to this variable. And uh, I'll just quickly show you how I can use that um, um, or incorporate that into set analysis using dollar sign expansion. So if if I have this, let's say just a dollar, 
that's my identifier again everything starts with identifier and that kind of sets the scope of the data set then comes the left angle bracket and that's the beginning of the modifier and if I say year equal now um, in order to use greater than or equal or less than or equals uh, or, or, or something similar you need to include that in the uh, in in the code uh, or single code mark so again uh, the selection starts with the uh, the bracket in code equal now I'm gonna use the dollar sign expansion so you can use dollar and then again equal we here and end that and that's it so what, what I've essentially done here uh, created a set containing um, the the current or default state and uh, year is going to be whatever uh, selection I make uh, in in the years following to that so if I select 2006 going to be 678 so let's see how that works so let's say if I select 2007 oops uh, go so uh, if I select 2006 it's shown 678 if I select 2007 it shows 7 and 8 if I show to select 2005 it's showing all the years so you see as, as I'm dynamically making selections uh, my sets getting refreshed uh, with this sad analysis expression which which essentially says that um, whatever selection I make uh, I want to display uh, the sales amount for that year and and the years following to that. So uh, this is the the very basics uh, of set analysis. I know that the uh, the syntax bit intimidating, but Stepan has created a, a wizard uh, that's pretty awesome uh, for. For most of your uh, basic uh, and even even advanced set analysis um, expressions, so I highly recommend that you just visit that and play around with the with the wizard. Um, that's something I think ClickDeck should have built, but um, nonetheless, uh, Stephen's done an amazing job uh, to create that. So, um, truly, set analysis is is the jam of um, ClickView because it. Um, provides you uh, a, a very creative way to, to um, create complex expression uh, or, or complex contra constructs that otherwise requires uh, many if statements. Um, so with that, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, in the next one, we'll kind of dive more into the advanced techniques. So uh, please stay tuned. Uh, and, and revisit this blog uh, again till then so long take care bye bye